Hello people and welcome back to John Shepherd Fitness. If you are new, please subscribe. If you like this video, give your thumbs up and share it to whoever you want. You know, the more support will be greater. The more people I get to subscribe to me and follow me and the views and the likes, the more things I can give back to you like competitions, prizes, free training plans, loads of things. So the more you can help me, the more I can help you. Anyway, today's video is just me sitting down talking to you and it's about my 2021 goals. Um, if you've watched that video, then you'd know that I had a few goals and I wanted to actually compete. I got a trainer, um, which was AJ Morris, probably one of the best trainers in the UK at the moment. And obviously he's a natural bodybuilder as well, competed um, as a natural bodybuilder. And I thought me being natural myself, it would be really good and beneficial to actually see what he could offer me, you know, on the tables as a coach, knowing that I, he's natural, I'm natural. And everything was going fine until lockdown. Of course, gyms have closed for six weeks and we're all in the same boat. But I don't earn that much and I thought, you know what, I'm going to cancel it at the moment. See what happens after these six weeks. You know, let the pandemic and all these vaccinations do their business. You know, hopefully they will actually do as they say and at the moment they're getting out the vaccines they're doing the uh, the amount they said it was going to do a week and things even though the rates are going up the things are looking brighter you know um and i decided to cancel aj um unfortunately he understood uh, because i want to do the whole you know to boogle i want to be training and i want to be you know obviously eating right but I can't do one without the other so I want to tell you a bit more about what AJ did he does um, a live video you you send the video or a um, few pictures of yourself and he will always do a, a video a 10 minute video telling he, telling you basically what he thinks of you where you stand what's your good points what's your bad points what where you are you know in physique wise you know um what categories you know basically everything you need to know and aj was happy with pretty much all my body i didn't show the i didn't really show my legs because obviously i want to do men's physique and men's physique you don't they don't care about um <coughs> They don't really care about actual legs in that, so I didn't show him. Um, but he said that my shoulders, arms, chest, front part of me is pretty 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 good. You know, there's not much room to improve on that. You know, for my natural ability, maybe. Um, obviously, I'm holding a bit of weight around. The belly but i knew that anyway and the only problem that i had was my back and i've always known my back's been lagging i wouldn't say it's the center of the back i'd say it's more my lats um but i've never got down to a certain weight where i've had a really tapered waist so i don't know if my lats are really that bad Obviously, my shoulders are quite um, broad for my actual frame, you know, the chunky. Um, so I wouldn't really know what they look like, you know, with um, all the fat um, taken off. So from tomorrow, which this video is coming to you today, um... I am actually going to be starting cutting. I'm going to, for the rest of the weeks on lockdown, I'm going to taper down. Basically, I'm going to try and taper down 
my weight, um, doing it slowly, not aggressively, um, and losing the stubborn fat around my sides and my belly. Obviously, you can't tell the fat to come off there. It can come off anywhere. If anybody says it comes off one place more than the other place, it's a load of rubbish. Um, fat comes off where it wants to come off. Um, some places it's more stubborn than others. Um, it all depends on the person. So, from tomorrow, my food, from muscle food, is coming um, tomorrow, which is today to you. And I've actually got some weights down there. I'm waiting for my bench, which is from Germany. Um, I've got like a sort of bench where she's got a rack on it. Um, and yeah, I'm waiting for that. But obviously Brexit is now upon us. So delivery from Europe is taking its time. Um, I've got some dumbbells, which I was a bit disappointed, which you need to always check the small print. I ordered some 30 kg dumbbells for 100 quid and I thought, yes, that's all right. It's pretty decent. Um, not cast iron like plastic, um, vinyl, whatever they call them. And I thought, yeah, that's all right, 30 kg. Got them and the packaging said 30 kg on. So I thought, them con artists, they've actually done me, you know. Um, I looked on the actual website again and it said 30 kg dumbbells, right? And then you have to go into the, the description and then it said 15 kg weight. So each one of my dumbbells is actually 15 kg. They are, luckily though, ones where you can screw off and put other weights on. So I've got weights which obviously are not the weights that I'm lifting, they're actually lighter. But if I want to put up heavier weights, I just have to put them all on one dumbbell and I've got other weights, I think I've got 14 kg in plates. So I can at least get about 20 kg on dumbbells for each one on whatever exercise I want to do. If I want to do heavier ones, then I can just do single um, armed chest exercises, you know, and then alternate to the other side, which in a way is really beneficial. If you've never ever like done that, it's really, really good because you sometimes lift heavier with one side than the other one. I always say dumbbells probably are more important than actually a um, barbell because barbells are great for getting strength and that's what barbells really are. Barbell weight is more of a strength exercise. It's a compound movement. Yes, it's great lifting two, three plates, four plates each side, you know, if you can do that, but a lot of people cannot lift the same weight in each hand, which is, if you've, if you've never realized that it, on yourself, I can lift 110 kg, like on a barbell, yeah? So that's what, 55 kg I should be able to lift in each hand. I can't do that in each hand on a dumbbell because you've got to lift it up and also, even when I've lifted up, I've tried 50s before, and I think I did one, two reps, but I had help assisted me with them reps, you know, so I couldn't do them by myself. So just something to, you know, give you a little tip on when to use dumbbells, if you to just use bars, use both. You know, bars are great to build up your strength, but dumbbells, I would always say are number one. So then, a bit more about my actual diet. I am, I'm gonna go through the whole plan um, in another video, but what I'm planning on doing, like I said, is cutting down quite slowly. I'm gonna, for the rest of this week, 
I'm going to weigh myself tomorrow. I'm going to do a video of my starting point and everything. Tell you my weight, show you my physique, poses, you know. Uh, and then I'm going to go from a certain weight that I would say I started on last time and see what happens for the rest of that week. I've only got half a week of this week left, so it's not a proper week, so I'm not expecting to lose any weight or if any weight at all. If I do weight if I do lose some weight, like a pound, then I would say that amount of calories is is right, you know. Um if I lose half a pound I would say that's reasonable I'll probably carry on them calories the week after and see where I come because of the I have a it might turn out to be a pound um, in, in weight what I want to do is really lose about a pound a week you know I don't want to lose any more at the moment I'm only going to be doing my 10,000 steps I'm going to be doing no cardio I'm gonna I want to try and taper down and I, I probably think I'm going to be about 180 um, if I'm more then great but I want to I want to lose at least a pound a week um, and until lockdown finishes hopefully it finishes after the six, six weeks if it doesn't and I think it's going to be basically 12 weeks but I think um, hopefully it'll be the six weeks and then gyms might be open just because the lockdown's not, you know, finishes, it doesn't mean that gyms will be back open. They're gonna let schools first and then everybody else, and like last time, gyms always came last. It it made me laugh because that idiot, um, the health secretary bloke, um, whatever his name is, he said that people need to go out and exercise, you know, it's good for them it helps you with the this virus you know this um disease if it helps you to exercise where's one of the best places to actually open up you know which is controlled walking out and about which most of the people who you're giving freedom to go and exercise are not going out to exercise they're going out walking around the shops and this classing his exercise or they're they're going wherever they're going you know they're not they're not they're not going out for exercise you know <laughs> they're not they're not known to do exercise you know they probably wouldn't do go out if they was allowed out you know they'd probably be sitting in the house if the if there was allowed to you know not go out but um yeah it's one of them strange things i thought i'd tell you this anyway what's going to happen i know i keep on changing my mind i know i'm, I'm i am like a yo-yo in a moment i'm just like <sighs> what are you doing john what are you doing are you actually serious you're telling people you're going on a cut again and i am because if you haven't, if you start something and you and you and it was there, and then you got it taken off you, but you know you can get it back, but then you know there's things in the way, but there's 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 not it's not stopping you from doing it. That's how I feel. The one thing I was I stopped it for is because I had nothing to do. You know, I couldn't work out. But now, hopefully. In the next week, ho I'm hoping in the next week I'll get my bench, you know. So I've got a barbell. I've got like I've got like 30 kg of weights on here, and I've got my barbell with them concrete weights, um, which is about is about 50 kg. So you're looking about 80. I've probably got about 90 kg where I can do deadlifts. I know it's not much, but I can do them for reps, you know, for a lot of reps, 15 or do slow reps, you know, I've got that, I can use that as well, keeping the strength in me, you know, I don't want to go back 
to the actual gym and after we like get back into it you know I want to be going straight into the gym and going right let's go on to the let's go on to the bench and do what I was doing before you know and hopefully looking a bit leaner I don't want to start prep because if this is the last lockdown I could go back on to prep it all depends I don't want to make it a, a very you know like certain about it because I'm a I'm a sensible person in like well I'm not actually in money wise because I I won't be living with my mum and dad I'll be like in my own house by now but I think you shouldn't waste money on stuff just for the sake of it you don't need a coach to lose weight you don't need a coach to you know get a workout plan you know if you're really 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 like a novice then yes or you've got a really bad problem yes you know or you want to go to the next stage like i do like and how to cut and what to do with like carb um days and all this stuff and like that yes but if you're just wanting to lose a bit of weight you know what to do you just stop stop eating so much you know if you want to work out there's plenty of people like me like people who do numerous amount of exercise videos you know and you just can copy them right it doesn't matter if it's a coach or anybody you are the person who is doing it you're the person who's on the diet you're the person who's working out yeah that person's not going to be there feeding you that person's there not going to be there what oh, doing the training with you and if you do struggle with training just go and ask somebody you know can you can you tell me how to do this i've i've taught people in three or four gyms you know how to deadlift when they you know i would never teach something or tell somebody to do something that i don't know how to do you know if they say how do you bench press four plates and i'm like i can't do that you know i wouldn't know you know you just it's just one of them things you know but if somebody's starting out and doing deadlifts and they're doing it completely wrong you know they're arching the back and i'll say mate you're doing it wrong you know i don't want to be rude but it annoys me when i see somebody doing something wrong and i don't want them to get hurt because what they'll do is they'll just whack on some stupid way and then crack the back open you know so i'll just tell them and show them and then go hey mate do that you'll lift that a lot easier you know it's not being rude you know i would be grateful from somebody else telling me like mate you've I'm going to help you um, spot because you've got another three or four in you there. You just need somebody to guide you up, you know. There's nothing wrong about helping somebody out. Anyway, I'm waffling on and I thought I'd just tell you what's happening. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I'm going to be releasing something in a video also later on this week it's a f something free so make sure you're tuned in for that video because you could be one of the people who would want this so stay tuned for that but have a good week if i don't see you and um, if i do see you again then i will see you again in the next video